They're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Sure me. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Listen, Malik, we know you're responsible for the embassy and the bombings before that, too. That is not in question. Confess, and we can be done with this. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. You knew about Zero Day before contacting us. How do you explain that? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Even if what you say is true, it doesn't absolve you of anything. You're not a good man, Malik. You deserve to rat in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. We won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty projects at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some nasty plan going on. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing, since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. All the minor drinking on while we work out how to stop that jackal Nigel Cass. In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately. Using your CSA app. Impairing 
our frontal lobe again, are we? Brains need breaks, Bagley. Even mine. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can we stop before they even start? And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up! Keep it civil. We think you should call him a little slack. Seriously? This is the place. All right, where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. No doubt. The whole setup was just perfect. I suggest we check the attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Get your filthy hands off of me! Help me! This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Of course they would. It looks a tad suspicious, don't you think? Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You're better than a Swiss army knife, Bagley. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. I'm onto it. reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. That should do it. 
Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. in progress. So we have access to high-grade weapons. Unfortunately, it doesn't narrow it down. I'll look around and see what I can find. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me onto Themis, my contact inside Albion. If that's true, then the bomb was no false flag. It was a hit job. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Bax, can you run the number plates? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass must have done something to piss this man off. If they're fighting amongst themselves, we can use that. First things first, let's have a look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Torn, why would they bring it there? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm at the torn site. Is this where Albion left the truck from the Finsbury attack? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll look around and see what I can find. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Sick!
Ask them what's going on. Sadly, that operative has gone on to the big safe house in the sky.
surroundings. Search. Let's have a look around. This can't be the attacker. The body's too far gone. He's yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. I think this is our victim. Recent with burn marks all over. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. That's no problem for you, Bucks. I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Blood clot. Arbion certainly knows how to get rid of bodies. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it.
I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Your turn, Bagley. He's launched them, man. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice, Themis, drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead. But he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and... You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me, less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible? I'm sorry. I love you. Jesus, rice and peace. All of these drones hovering over our heads, and one flip of the switch, we turn them into blood clot killers. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bats boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. But we don't have to. Wait. You see of the data? Are you joking? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. Doesn't mean what I think it means, Bagley. Operative KIA. Apologies. Intriguing. Oh, somebody fix that drone. You have to think 